as I look at this series and I try and figure out what kind of a convergence test I want to apply, I am seeing a nice integral in that. So let's see if the integral test would apply to this and then we'll be able to see why. So this is going to be, if I was looking at the function x cubed, e to the negative x to the fourth, in order to apply the integral test I would need to have three conditions. This would need to be a continuous function, which it is. It would need to be a positive function, which we're looking from one to infinity, and so it is. And it would need to be a decreasing function. Now that one I can see because I know that exponentials dominate over polynomials and this e to the negative stuff is going to zero, but let's go ahead and confirm that by looking at the first derivative. So I'm going to do that down here. If I have f of x equals x cubed e to the negative x to the fourth, and I took the first derivative. I have a product rule, so I have first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of e to the stuff is e to the stuff times the derivative of that stuff, which is negative 4x to the third. So there's our chain rule, plus the second, which is e to the negative x to the fourth, times the derivative of the first, which is 3x squared. Now, so that we can see what's going on with the sign of this derivative, let's go ahead and factor out an x squared e to the negative x to the fourth. Okay, so that would leave me here a negative 4. There's x to the sixth. I took two of them out, so that would be x to the fourth. Took the exponential function out. Over here, this would be plus 3. So now as I look at that, I can see that this factor is always positive. And this factor, if I am looking from 1 to infinity, if I put a 1 in here, you can see I get a negative out. And then if I put in a 2 and a 3 and so forth, this negative term is going to be larger in magnitude. And so I'm always going to get a negative here. And so this first derivative on the interval from 1 to infinity is always negative. That tells me then the function is decreasing and therefore our integral test does apply. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to integrate. We're going to go from 1 to b and take the limit as b goes to infinity and this dx. So if we can compute this integral then we'll be able to test the convergence of this series. Now why I was seeing this is because notice if we let u equal negative x to the fourth then du is going to be negative 4x to the third dx and I was seeing that we had this x to the third dx and that's why I said it would be an integral that would work nicely. So if we divided both sides by negative 4 x to the third dx is going to be negative 1 fourth du. So I'm going to do this as an indefinite integral to get the integration and then resubstitute to do the evaluation. So we have e to the u and then our, um, we can replace x to the third dx with negative one fourth du. So that's a very easy integration. It's negative one to the fourth e to the u. Okay, so this is what we have. We can go ahead and resubstitute, and that would be a, make that an e to the negative x to the fourth. So let's go ahead and do the evaluation. We would have the limit as b goes to infinity of negative one fourth. Okay, this would be e to the negative b to the fourth, I'm looking at my limits of integration which are 1 and b, minus e to the negative 1 to the fourth. And so now as I look to let b go to infinity, I can see that that's going to go to 0. And so what I have left is plus 1 over 4 e because here's my 4 and this was to the negative 1 and so I can move it down. Now what does all of this tell me? Well when we run the integral test as long as the integral equals a finite number then we know that the series converges.